Hello, Virgo. We have a new start coming in a connection with a person who is newly evolved. Let's dig in to see where this goes. Hello, everyone, and welcome in. This is a Virgo tarot reading. It's a general reading covering April 11th through the 17th. Let's dig in to see what sort of theme we have for you guys for this mid-month transition. Oh, almost popped out. Not quite, though. Okay. The Proud Pirate, number 33. This came out a few times last week. Hmm. If you were proud for yourself, proud of yourself, free from shame, what would you choose for yourself today? Yep, have that one memorized now. <laughs> hmm. So this is about making choices from a place of love versus self-judgment. It also could be something as simple as pride getting in the way of your choices, of your of a connection with someone else. Let's see what supporting energy we have that goes with this proud parrot. Okay. Ooh, a new start is coming. New moon. A new shot, a new chance. Let's see where we go with this. What's going on with Virgo? This proud Pirate energy. That's a terrible shuffle. We're going to try one more. There we go. Okay. Start a new chance. Okay. The lovers. A new start. Five of Cups. Temperance, Sagittarius energy, Gemini energy. The Devil, Capricorn Energy, Three of Pentacles, Three of Cups, Page of Wands. Who was really burdened here before? A lot of fire. Someone really held back a the truth about how overwhelmed and anxious they were. They could have had the courage to deflect. To deflect previous uh, communication. Okay, Virgo. I'm going to read this side as you. This side as your person and this as the situation. There, there is the choice for loving partnership here. Okay, there is some sadness on your end. You could have Capricorn in your chart. There could be a little, or it, it could be some fear around. I'm mean, keep looking at these spilled cups. Fear. Around, oh, see the spilled cups are three, and see they're th celebrating with three. There's, there's, there's a third party thing going on here. Plus three of pentacles. There's, there's a third party thing going on here. Fear of third party. We'll get some more on that. On their side, temperance, Sagittarius energy, three of pentacles, page of wands. There's, there's, they literally could be a Sag that wants to work on this, start again on this, to rebuild this. They're very, very curious if you want to move into this energy. Hmm. Let's 
Let's expand here because this is getting interesting already. Let's expand on the situation, the lovers, please. Gemini energy. Okay. Nine of Pentacles. Four of Wands. Two of Swords. Ten of Pentacles. Two of Cups. Ace of Cups. Holy sh... <laughs> Could have some Scorpio in there. The tired, run ragged, exhausted feeling is over. There's a new perspective on long term happiness. Okay. The lovers clear, expanded with the Nine of Pentacles, Four of Wands, Two of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, Two of Cups, Ace of Cups. This is a loving connection. There is indecision. Whoever was the one that was single the longest, like if you were the third party, whether you knew it or not, whoever here was single the longest or the single one in the situation is now gun shy on moving forward with this connection because it started as three and it should have been two. But there's a new beginning here. A brand new beginning in love. Okay, let's see what's going on. Let's start with your side, Virgo. Let's expand on the Five of Cups, please. Ace of Swords. Seven of Pentacles. There you are. The Hermit. So the truth is here. You put in a lot of work in this connection, in this dynamic. There's a breakthrough. There's a breakthrough after an ending where someone is some intuitive person, which you showed up as yourself, and that's definitely an intuitive person, knows they want a passionate new beginning. Could be you. I have a feeling it's actually them, though. Okay. The truth is you have there's sadness here because of how much time you'd already how how much time or how much you have already put into this that you put into this connection to find out that you are the sidekick. <laughs> um okay, the devil. Let's expand on that Capricorn energy. Four of Cups, Page of Swords, Three of Wands, Three of Wands, Three of Swords. So it looks like they're kind of like staring off into oblivion while you're trying to find like incriminating information. Okay. Like, like you want to find something wrong with it. You want to find something that justifies you not moving forward with this. You want to find something. And the funny thing is, is that there's fears at the base of this, as you know, here with the devil. But this person is just looking off into the distance while you're trying to find something that's going to hurt you. You know, if you search for something, you'll find something. This, this, is, this is one of those cases. Really determined. King of Wands, but no question asked. Okay, let's expand on the Three of Cups, please. Three of Cups. Nine of Swords. Six of Wands. Six of Pentacles, Ten of Wands. World. Yep, someone walked away, straight up abandoned the connection. There is an immaturity here that 
Whoever it was aimed at, they weren't having it. <laughs> Whoever it was aimed at, they weren't having it. There's still this anxiety about this third party wanting to be confident about it. <coughs> Excuse me. You do end the cycle. You do end the cycle, the overwhelm. You do you do put it down. But I'm getting like forward, stop, forward, stop, forward, stop with the progression of things because of the knee jerk reaction that this fear is based in. Okay, let's see what's going on on their side. Okay, let's start with temperance. Ooh. Devil wanted to pop out again. Seven of Cups, Ace of Cups. Moon, Nine of Pentacles. Oh, so you can't see that this love offer is legit. And they think that you're a total catch. That, see, Because you're showing up nine of pentacles, nine of pentacles, ace of cups, ace of cups. This is mutual. You're kicking ass at life, doing very well for yourself. And they see you being awesome. But what you don't see, because the moon is in the way, you don't see that the ace of cups is a legit offer. Huh. It's like you don't think they're serious. Okay, three of pentacles. Let's expand on the three of pentacles, please. Higher fit for, wow. They want to work towards a committed beginning. Taking the leap of faith, wow. Okay, page of wands. Let's expand on the page of wands, please. Two of Cups, again, Sun, wow, Seven of Wands, Judgment, High Priestess, Ace of Swords, they want this with you, big time, I'm super attracted to you too, <laughs> okay, so this little page of Wands is coming in to say, basically, I love you. You make me happy. This is, I am clear on my decision. I am decided. That's the phrase popping into my head. I am decided. I will fight for this chance and I know it is correct. Okay. It's not bad. Not bad at all. I love you. You make me happy. I am decided. I will fight for this chance. I know it is correct. Is there anything I need to clarify before going on to the extended? What will this person need to do? What will this emperor need to do to show Virgo that they're serious? What does this person need to do? What does this emperor need to do to show Virgo that they're serious? New start is coming. It's going to be presented to you. And it's pretty darn solid. I mean, four of wands, ten of pentacles, ace of cups, two of cups, lovers. That's pretty friggin' beautiful. Okay. King of Wands. Ten of Cups. Empress. Holy shit. Knight of Wands. Queen of Cups. Nine of Wands. Lovers. Wow. 
Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands. Holy shit. <laughs> Coming in hot, the other Ace, too. Destined Connection. Two of Cups, Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands. Coming in like a bat out of hell with the Knight of Swords. There's the star, Aquarius energy, nine of cups, wish fulfilled, and ace of pentacles, uh, the other brand new beginning. The only other brand new beginning we don't have is the ace of swords, and it came up under there. This is an inevitable chance to begin again. Whether you choose it or not is on you. So this person knows that they are going, they are more than motivated to prove to you that they know you are, this is some twin flame energy right here, my friends, that they know you are their empress. They want to show you the happiness that you bring them. And they're very, they're not motivated. They're eager to show you what's in their heart. And they will, yep, they will continue to fight for this. Okay. Okay, well, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to head over to the extended. I'm going to see what's going on with this emperor right now in his current energies. I'm going to see what's going on with him in the near future, as well as the final outcome of the connection between you two in this lifetime. So if you're interested in any of that information, along with messages from spirit about this connection at this point in time, messages from your emperor at this point in time, as well as timing, you guys can follow me by clicking the link to the extended in the description box below. And I will see you guys over there. Bye. Ooh.